But yeah, let's start this survey, I guess. I just hope, like, I can even record this. I'm assuming I can. <laughs> but again, we'll just go point. We're both pretty good at being silent. And apparently he'll be accompanying us with a few comments here and there. Um, so now the first question. How satisfied are you with love and, uh, love and deep space as of now? I am very satisfied, to be honest. Or maybe I'll say satisfied, because there are a few things they could change. So that's not pampering them up too much. Which best describes your game experience with love and this space hmm. the game has pretty good at being silent oh my god Xavier are you going to talk literally the whole time I'll have to mute him uh, the game the game has a lot of content which can be exhausting game content is well balanced and comfortable the game does not have enough content and I have not I have not had enough fun okay this one is the best for me because so far at least there's no event so it doesn't feel exhausting I'm trying to reach the max thing so that I'm least I'm always with people I hate when I lag and like I feel like I was irritated what's on your mind oh my god I'm moving my earphones I can't so like um <laughs> I hold on to say shit now even i've forgotten yeah because like with Starrell, i kind of like and don't like that the makers have to do the story because like in genshin it was like that before but then they started making you be able to do the quick skip and that did help because like sometimes i just don't have the time to do the story before doing the event so yeah because right now i have to do Starrell. <laughs> and um, i don't know when i'm going to get time to do that but anyways next question which graphic quality settings are you using on your device for okay so this one is multiple but it's for medium to smooth so i'm just going to say smooth because that's the one i have on most devices that's the one i have on this device i hope that oh, i have not updated my emulator because <laughs> you if you know this emulator you probably know it so i'll probably have to i hope it's for the better because the battle system was glitching out and i don't know if that's my pc or their software but yeah i'm using smooth what question how do you rate the overall in-game visual presentation so far what is this uh again i'm satisfied with it i think it's really good uh can i not scroll anymore shit i think it's dark what is happening oh interesting so if you say that it brings that oh it's not stark okay 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 how do you rate the overall main story experience so far it's interesting how they decide to do the flow though because like sometimes it's when it shifts, again, I've already mentioned this. This is something I really don't like. The whole cutscene situation where it's like, you can't really pause unless you physically pause. Like, cause I be far to have the, again, I'm a slow reader. So I be far to have the audio to go according to how I want. If, if, even the cards have this issue. I'm like, like the, the event, the SR cards or the SSR cards. Like, I would prefer if they didn't have that option. Like, why is auto there? Like, auto basically is only for the actions. It's not even for the reading. Like, I just wish there would be a third option <laughs> to have either the text lower or, like, just not have it auto in the first place because it's low-key annoying. I don't know. I'm between neutral and four. Let me say neutral. I see what they bring up. Uh, what aspects of the main story are you dissatisfied with? Please select any that apply and pro provide special reasons in the specific. Okay, maybe I'll say this. Oh, I have to thingy. I'm not sure if this is what they, they are saying, but I will say text move to fast. I would like an auto auto c stem on oops my god <laughs> why do you keep clicking b i'm not used to this keyboard i don't know if that makes sense i don't even know if i can scroll it it just went up shit oh shit what the fuck okay oh my god what is it why is it doing why why is it doing that oh my god I'm sorry. Okay, it's glitching out up there. And then this, how do you rate all the in-game site stories experience such? Oh my god, I love this. I flipping love this. Oh yeah, because um, Mr. Love had this, where it's like they had the cutscenes autoplay and you can't really pose them. And I really don't like that. Because sometimes it's like history about her life or her situation or something and like i'm really struggling to read those cutscenes but i'm just like you know what 
I'm just going to try and take a screenshot and read it later or video if I'm doing a video. How do you rate all the in-game side quests experience such as by your side, falling for you and I don't know how to read that so far. Uh, I love, I love them. I love them so far. Again, they are voiced. They are nice to listen to. Again, I tend to play this game in the morning and when I go to sleep. Basically, I don't even know. I play it all the time. But like, it's funny when I leave the voice thing going. <laughs> it's a nice thing. I loved this for Mr. Love and I was, it was unfortunate that it was paid. So I like that here it's a free thing and it's basically the way the SR cards work and like some things that you unlock with them. This other thing, I don't know about that because that's like just basically I have to read it anyways. And I, and I hate reading so I don't really concentrate on that one but yeah i like that they took that aspect from mr love and i guess made it better again it's probably a different team i could be saying all these comparisons with them but it's probably a different team how do you rate gameplay features such as photo studio and playtime i love playtime photo studio it's it's kind of gets boring and monotonous because like you don't open all the poses but like i still like it so i'll say satisfied the card game is low-key annoying <laughs> The cat game, the kitty game. Oh my god. But the claw, claw machine is funny. I like how Raphael basically like goes fast and sometimes he refuses you from playing. I'm like, dude. <laughs> like, he's, he just reminds me of like, Marius, it's annoying. But in his... <laughs> How, how do you rate the game user face and design so far um i'll say this because like it's annoying how small some texts are like i guess because i'm always re watching it through my my monitor so sometimes it's hard to see things it's good so far as i said i like the message design i like the home page is nice i like the profile i wish the profile thing could change the whole thing because i don't like white ui i tend to like dark UI so I wish that's something they could add but again who knows how do you rate the battle experience so far battle experience including all the battles such as main story stages bounty hunter and deep space trial I'll say mid I've already given my reasons why yes camera oh my god this camera tracking and perspective is effing annoying this is literally one of the reasons I do not like the battle system because I remember I was discussing with my brother and I don't even remember everything we said because I was just like you know what this thing is irritating me just play it and see if it's just me who is irritated by it so <laughs> and then he was like giving things like oh some things are weird here some things are clunk and then he was mentioning how he wishes the like will you have your character like your male lead playing with you it could have different i don't know i don't even know how he explained it maybe i'll get him here to like do a clip of what he meant because like honestly if they didn't have auto system i would hate playing this game i mean the com combat part because like honestly like the fact that you have to turn and then attack in order to switch your character is annoying i like like i'm used okay most of the rpgs i've played i'm used to like of course minus genshin not every game is like this but used to like moving to the character i'm interested in or like targeting because like the old kingdom hearts the first one because that's the only one i personally played and finished <laughs> uh you can easily change your the people you're fighting and it also helps because like you'll want to get rid of a certain character first before you finish fighting because like this one example you want to get rid of the things that it puts in the field before continuing the fight because clearly of course it's like a debuff for you genshin is interesting because like you just walk to the character like i think it's easier because like it just feels smooth like it's just like you're going there and you're fighting but this one sometimes it's like she auto goes to someone else and i'm just like dude because genshin has that issue as well i won't even lie that sometimes like they be attacking like pots or like <laughs> objects instead of characters or you're trying to shoot like object and and then it hits the character or like an enemy or like a friendly that you don't want to hit individual in combat the difficulty of level the enjoyment of gameplay in combat the feeling of controls during combat this one is a bit hard to say because I don't know if it depends on the device. The counter situation that you have to do, I don't even know if I can call it counter, but basically, especially the claymore, that system is very hard to play. Like you have to, like if you're using a slow device, you have to like slightly hit slightly ahead. And then if, if you're, just, it's just the timing. So I don't know. So um, it's really hard for me to say here. Because for me, it feels stiff. I just don't know how to explain it. But it feels stiff playing this character. And sometimes the best stuff I like is gun and the wand or the stuff. But I don't know what to say that. And they say I have to say something. I'll just say feels stiff because I don't know what to say. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully everything 
Okay, I almost thought that changed. I was just double checking. No. Oh, fuck. <gasps> no, I have to write that again. It even switched the thing. Ah, I even wrote enemies wrong, but whatever. Again, I could be doing all this and no one is going to watch this. No one is going to see this. They're not even going to read this service. I always see it's so pointless to have this service sometimes because sometimes do they even listen to us? Like I used to think Genshin listens to us because it was just coincidence that what I asked for is what I got. But it reached a point that I was asking for something for the longest time and they have never done it. I've been asking for better filters in the game for the longest time. I hate how I need to look for people who have who have only in Liwe uh, or people who are only in Inezuma or people who are like or just even items that are only in Inezuma or Liwe because sometimes I'm just like okay I feel like fighting in Inezuma what do I need to farm sometimes I don't remember all the items that come from there sometimes I don't remember all the characters that need what from where so it's just nice if I could be able to filter according to that like today I want to roam Inezuma I want to farm this it's, it would just be nice like they literally have this system already in freaking Hoyo Lab why can't they just add that system already in Genshin itself like Again, there are, uh, I could talk all day about this quality of life that Kenshin needs that other, like literally Staril itself has, but we will be here forever. We'll be here forever. We're already here forever. <laughs> but in his, this one feels different. So maybe even I could have done the other survey instead as well. I mean, uh, what is your favorite game feature so far? Oh, really? You're asking me this? I like this. Okay. <sighs> Do I have to read all this? I don't know what that is. I never know how to say that. Where you can read the character story chap chapters in dates. Secret times where you can listen to intimate whispers and enjoy immersive audio content in date by your side. I love this one. This one is really good. Like, just the how... I'm telling you again, this freaking VA people they collected are really good with, like, especially Xavier. I'm sorry. They better not change Xavier's VA because if they do, I'm sorry, that's gonna change the way I feel about him. I know it's a stupid thing to say, but it's just how I am. I'm like attached to voices for some reason. <laughs> but like, yes, <laughs> um, it will change a lot of things. I do like the story. The story is good for me so far. The main story. Center moments. The story reading system in day by your date by your side. Feature ambition sounds and voice acting with backgrounds playing available i low-key don't like this if i'm thinking what i think this is wait can i check it on another game another phone um because if that's the sr things i don't know i kind of hate when it kicks me out of the, the game when i have to re-log in again like it makes sense but it's just annoying i'm surprised my phone is still on i fell asleep well, it was 30 something and i left the screen on because <laughs> i was reading someone's story at the time or oh, one of these date things oh yeah so yeah it's this one the one i was thinking I kind of don't like this one, but I do like it at the same time. Um, it's confusing, so I'm just going to say I like it. Because what I don't like about it is the fact that... Like, because again, I like to leave it on the side. It can play in the background and all that stuff. But you see, the thing is, when my character speaks or when there's narration there, I don't see that. At least with the sec secret time, it... Okay. It, the, at least for the secret time, um, it's all him speaking and he's basically talking like he's talking to me on the phone. So like, or recording something for me. So like, at least there's no text thing I need to read. Sometimes they do. Do they have text? I don't even remember. Because I rarely even read that when it's playing because at least I know it's fully dubbed. The chatting system, I already said this. I love the chatting system. It's so good. Uh, the ki kitty game. If I was winning the kitty game, I would like it. So maybe no. I love the claw machine. Honestly, funny. The little quirky things that they do that is like hilarious to me. I've already mentioned this. The photo studio, I do like it. I just wish. I have mixed feelings about the studio, photo studio, but I don't know how to say this. I hate that a lot of the clothes are stuck in the photo studio. I personally wish some of those clothes were what I fight with. I hear that basically the only outfits I can change are the paid ones. I really do hope they have a free one later or like in deep in the story. Again, I have not read too far. I've only read until chapter 5. That's where I am right now because like I can't get past 31. I'm trying to get the characters I need to th past 31. But that's hard. Cohant. Cohant is what? I should know these things. I just need to look at them. Because there are a lot of little fighting things in this game. So it's a bit forgetful i've not even opened it here yet so i can't even check okay i think i know what that one is um 
I don't care for that one really. It's it's I don't get the protocol things like right now. Are there protocols? I forget what they're called. I don't care for those. <laughs> I know I should because it basically makes them stronger, but I've never really been to, into meta and stuff like that. Again, that's probably someone a third person will probably have to come and explain all that to me. For now, no. Holding for you, I love this. Hands down, this is one of the things I love so much. Like freaking Ralph's night scroll thing. That thing was hilarious as hell. Is this what I'm thinking? Yeah, it's this thing. Like, it's so hilarious. Because this is also where you can get to read like the SR interaction things or the cards. Oops, I've been told information here. I have not really played this account, so... I'm still getting tutorial things. I hope it's not something I needed to look at. Training room. Mm, I do like that they give diamonds there. Wait, what was the question again? It's been so long I've forgotten. Oh, favorite. Okay. I do like it because it helped me understand the battle system slightly more. I don't know if I can say it's a favorite thing. So that one is, is complicated. Interesting. Because I've, I've not done freestyle. That's the one I was talking about. I've done the others. But at least I know how they work. Home screen interactions. Absolutely love this. The thing with this is that apparently there are some hidden things in there that I don't want to mention right now. But like the fact that I like the little things that you can do to him. It's only... I wish... I wish again that the dialogue thing was more in depth because like I was having a hard day one time and I was like telling one of the guys how I was feeling. But again, it's scripted so it, I can't relate to it. <laughs> But again, it's nice that it's there. It's cute. I like the heartbeat thing. On one of my phones, it intensely vibrates. It's kind of scary. And then I like how you can tell him what food you want. I don't know. It's just cute. It's really cute. Face customization. I already said that's one of my top five things I like. Uh, wishing where you can obtain memories, of course. Uh, it's one of the reasons I like this type of new style of Otome games. At the same time, one of the reasons I hate them. <laughs> Oh, it just depends how they put their, their system, their PT system. Five star interaction memories, I like that. I already said that's hands down one of the things I really like about the five stars. Making sense why the four stars are the way they are. Deep space trial, where you can tackle. I kind of like this one. Definitely better than the core hunter one. This one is fun. And the, is it the, it's, oh, they didn't say that one. Interesting. They didn't talk about that. Is it because this account has gone further is why I'm getting these different choices? Maybe it's not really hunter contest maybe that's why it's not that i don't know if it's going according to my account but yeah i do like this uh the deep space trials where you can tackle open orbits and uh, open orbits are any characters and the direct orbits are specific character challenges which each stage playable only once yeah of course i like the open one because of course you're not you don't need keys for that one i personally like it i, I like even how the ui looks for that uh bounty hunt I feel like it's a regular thing, so it's not really a favorite thing for me with him. You can display collectibles. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I have like a setup for everyone. <laughs> like how i like it because like xavier is like the brown light wood tone and then zane and i guess Raphael are more of the dark like the darker tones or purple or like stuff like that so i really love that and the fact that like you can go see the little things that you found out about him honestly that is really cute because it reminds me again of mr love like i feel like they they took some of the things that they had in that game and like made some of them better or like basically the same but like still i like that that they are okay what are the least favorite game gameplay features so far wow so it's literally just the same things but here i i really don't dislike anything maybe but even that i don't really read it so i can't dislike that okay this is least favorite and i have to answer something there's nothing like none so okay we'll just do the things i didn't choose then I don't dislike the bounty hunt. It makes sense. It's typical. There's nothing special about it. There's nothing I can add about it. I did say that I wish once you enter the bounty hunt that it could be like landscape and stay landscape because like if you're like going back and forth between the stages that you need to go to, of course you can click next, but I like to go and check if I'm qualified for that round instead of going and dying. So like it's annoying how it keeps changing to landscape and portrait. At the same time, I get it because like when you're doing the auto part, it's, it would be annoying if it keeps going to landscape. I just wish you had a choice, is what I'm saying. I wish you had a choice to change it from the outside. But I guess that's the only two things I can say. It's surprising that they didn't include the hunter contest. Again, I don't know if it's going according to my level. I did the survey in one of my other accounts already. And I wasn't that far into story. Please reach each of the following aspects of the character. Of all appeal satisfied look style satisfied personal character honestly five voice acting fucking five on five literally why i love your ass uh overall uh appeal will say four 
look and style for this is Zayn. Um, personal character. <laughs> is this or this? Honestly, it's hella annoying. And then he's so cold. I'm sorry if that's your style, but. Mm, and then his voice is hard also. It's either mid or like here. Maybe I'll say mid. He reminds me too much of Lucian. I'm so sorry. I just, I really wanted to like him. He was, visually, he's my type. He's literally visually my type. So even I should technically say this. <laughs> like a full five. Oh my god. I don't know what this thing is doing. It's getting hard to like. I can't. Okay, the game said I'm, I'm taking four. I'm taking four. Uh, for Raphael, um, satisfied. I like his style. Personality and character satisfied. He's very, he's silly and very quirky. His voice suits him, so I'll say that. Which of the uh, characters do you like the most so far? Please feel free to share what attracts... Oh my god. What? This is different. Before? Oh lord. Before I just said who I like. I didn't write why. This feels different. <laughs> it literally feels different. His voice. His voice one. <laughs> Love it. I like I like that he sleeps. I like that he likes games. I like that sometimes he tries to hide. Like <laughs> he like literally tries to hide why he's like why he, I don't know. Sometimes he's just like he's I don't know. I just there's just so much I like about him. Like I don't even know. I guess I've said a couple of things I like about him. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> uh and his personality. Yeah, he's fun. He's fun to be around. Uh, Raphael. I saw it's sad that I'm not choosing Zane, but like... <laughs> I guess this is... I, I, this is another video. This is totally another video. And I hate this. Um, for Raphael, I just like that he's silly. He's literally that hospital scene. Again, this is probably spoilers as I've mentioned. But like, he's he's so hilarious. Like, he literally made me laugh. I was dying when I, when I heard why he went to the hospital. Like, it was just hilarious to me. And then the way he like tries to do things. I don't like that he calls me bodyguard. This is literally the same thing with Kiro. How he keeps calling me Miss Chips. I do not like called Miss Chip, being called Miss Chips. Oh, what else? I think and then how Marius calls me Miss. Like, it's it makes sense in korean because nuna he calls me nuna and like it, it makes sense but like honestly i there are people who like call me by some random nickname they've decided to put on me get irritating to be honest but like sometimes i just like people on irritation i it's a weird thing and i'm talking about some certain type of irritations because like honestly with zayn when it comes to him being like again i know he cares i know he he's he's like a is it Tsundere or whatever the, the character that just basically pretends not to like you or have emotions and stuff but they actually really care for you bullshit like he, the, the whole scene when i lost oh and um spoiler huge spoiler here yeah, as i said the whole video is spoiler but like uh where i lost caleb and my grandmother and he's like he was just like i i'm sure i saw him in between all that situation but just the fact that he didn't even nod he didn't even give a small hello while he was rushing to the emergency room i'm sorry that really triggered me and then the fact that like when i was in his office he was just again telling me the usual rundowns of like oh you should take care of yourself you should sleep better like yeah i know he's been caring but like in my opinion like like i don't know like i okay this is the reason even why i mentioned this in my first video i recently lost a friend and it wasn't in the means that i would like i don't even know if that's the true case because i don't know why she passed but i'm in a delicate stage about death right now so like the way people act around me is a huge thing for me like it's it's it makes me feel um because i'm a i'm a heavy, i'm heavy on actions and i feel like the way you act is the way you show you care for me. And he's a very wide person. He's a really a uh, action person. Again, not all the time, clearly. But like just from just from the small interactions. Again, this will probably change because again I didn't think I would like Vin. I didn't like I like I didn't think I like Xavier. Like these things change all the time. So I'm just saying this as a current moment from the story I am in so far. And the little things he's done that for me personally just 
it's not my type he's just not my type it's just simple like that it's not that he's a bad character or whatever again as i say i honestly think the characters in this are way better than mr love hands down i can't even start comparing them to tears of themas because again tears of themas for me personally are better characters in the sense of i really love being i really love Athem, especially Athem. but like i don't want to compare those two because i feel like they're different realms at least me personally <laughs> so yeah uh, but anyways yeah zane is just not my type like Xavier is not my type visually Zane is my type visually Zane is just not my type personally like personality but like yeah because uh, it's funny a lot of people say Xavier is similar to Vin which makes sense because Vin is my bias in terms of theme anyways I'm gonna go rambling on this is also meant to be the stage where I'm saying about their characters but that's what I feel so far like Raphael again is very 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 extremely to a T similar to Marius like the fact that he 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 he's into the art stuff the fact that he's rich the fact that he likes to treat like banter or like tease me or like you know do all those type of things it's literally marius so far at least okay he's kind of clingy so far for some stories i've read but i just hope he's not too much because honestly low-key i guess i'm gonna say this here i've been trying not to say it but like <laughs> one of the reasons i kind of low-key dropped with marius in the sense of his ranking um is because he's a bit too clingy for me <laughs> it's weird because i feel like vin is the same like him well him and vin just start to banter with each other and are just like arguing it's so funny to me but like <laughs> um maybe i should just stop that conversation there because like honestly we'll be here all day talking about these characters but right yeah he's silly i don't know if i can say he's funny he's silly honestly i'm just gonna say that simple <laughs> he's silly I always hate this type of questions. I wonder if they're trying to like size us up. <laughs> but it is. How much have you spent in love and deep? Oh, they're actually asking me how much I've spent so far already. So you knew I spent in the game. What is this? Anyways, uh, <laughs> of course I've only spent this much. I don't know how it counts because technically there's tax. That's the whole reason I forgot that. I forgot about tax because my currency doesn't have tax so what you see on the screen is what you're paying i absolutely love that shit but like i don't know i don't know if i should say this like five or just 4.99 i think i'll say 4.99 because it's what's that what's there are you satisfied with your in-game purchase experience in love and deep space i'll say average because personally speaking i bought the monthly pass and i feel like the monthly pass needs more benefits because like for just to get crystals yeah it's nice to get more diamonds it's nice to get that other special crystal but you only get it once um it's nice to get more energy because like this game is heavy with that need um it's basically the, the way they did the monthly is basically like genshin and i'm just sitting here like again this is a game coming from mr love i know how well they can do freaking monthlies and i'm just like and of course the other thing is just aesthetics like changing your login changing your profile page i think those are the only things i remember right now like name card um you can't even technically change your name card because like i like in genshin how it is i mean tears of themas how it is like when you have a name card basically like i wish they had that system that would be nice so i'll say average please specify the reason of your dissatisfaction with the current in-game purchase experience i'm going to i don't even know if if they will <laughs> but i'm just going to try and write what i just said should i include mr love fuck it me i'm saying it because okay i'm what i'm trying to say here is um okay i'll say it in the end i wish i could open the game to say but i'm not opening mr love right now <laughs> But I don't remember what the name is called. So basically what I've tried to say, because in Mr. Love, again, as I say, hands down, that is the best um, uh, VIP monthly, whatever what you want to call it. Because like the benefits to me personally felt the best because again, I wasn't able to play the game the way I liked it all the time. So it really did help to make things easier for me. So for example, Mr. Love has, of course, the regular with getting gems every day. Like you think you get 30. I think the, the amount of gems you get is lower. But again, you still get, you get 30 and then you, you get like there are a couple of things because like the, um, what's that thing the quick the scroll like where you like get a p from there and i have i think gems as well like it's fast for i did there the fact that the whole um again i'm forgetting the ui in mr love it's been a while the whole thing where it's like uh you reach all the way to 24 like the game basically the first time of course you play you have to play 
18 to 24 but like of course that's if you've done the thing already and then like once the week goes by like you can be able to just go at max all the time that's really helpful because sometimes i don't have time to sit there and like check if my battle is working and sometimes i have to do it multiple times because my card is weak versus the other person i have i like that it stores a lot of resources that you're not going to use i should even write that uh i don't even know if this game has that but i don't think so hmm, i don't know how to say this it stores overflow turns i feel like this will only make sense for people who actually play who play this game because like yeah there are sometimes i forget to do some parts of the dailies because it's like the dailies thing and like there are some things that it requires you to do so sometimes if you don't do like example like the card things i mean the keys things that's just an example i'm giving for this game if you don't do the three of the trial it will reserve that three somewhere so like it will end up reserving at least of course there's a limit like let's say it will reserve until you hit 10 so like you can be able to use that anyways because it's if star Rail has this they added this into the game which again best thing because i don't play star Rail every day and sometimes i don't have enough energy and using the i don't forget the name there i'll just call it resin using the resin there is not is not beneficial for me because i don't collect those a lot but like it was nice that they added a new currency that basically keeps the overflowing resin again i've forgotten the energy but the overflowing energy there because like again i would love if tears of themas or even this game would do that i hate that the energy is expired like the energy cans i just wish that at least this game actually does have one that does not expire it's basically doing the same thing like light night which again i like because it's again very beneficial so that's basically what i mean like the overflowing energy required stuff basically store in a separate situation if you don't do it that day or if you don't need to do it that day so it's really helpful it helps like just doing that um is there any other thing i remember from the monthly i don't remember at least those are the things i know i used a lot because now it's funny mr a light knight has just i don't know if it's a thing that they're keeping but now light knight has introduced the vip to where you can like do quick play i hate that they don't have that in the resources situation like now the i don't even know how to explain because I, I doubt any people play this game that one is a very limited game because it's all in china as i say or chinese server but yeah i don't know if that makes sense the annual monthly has the annual monthlies are too limited example mr love game has more benefits to help get more resources and to quick play on some of the side battles it stores overflow uh say overflow this is hard to say overflow because it's not even energy so i don't even know how to explain it because energy is the hearts are just different things from what that thing is or some gameplay mechanics if not used for the day anyways yeah are you willing to continue playing yes very willing very much because <laughs> i want to see what you guys have in store i'm curious how you'll handle your events what motivates you to keep playing the game collecting enjoying yeah collecting i like collecting honestly if they give the plushies in real life i would love to buy them i'd like to know more about the characters background and the car and the character yeah because i want to know xavier's age he <laughs> said he's around my age but i'm just like isn't the mc like 26 i forget how old she is uh storyline i like to see how the how many oh i love that i can select many i hate to able well, the restrictors i like to see how many the main story unfolds i like to the freedom to customize my, my in-game um appearance and space such as my look desk and outfits yes i enjoy the thrill and challenge maneuvers of the de defeating wanderers i love tackling different stages with various memory combos and tactics i low-key kind of like that but i just hate that the ones that they put in the game is low so i would not say that's what i'm looking forward to i like to engage in more interactions and emotional bonds with my character i love that the people are already flying with like increasing their bond or like affiliation with the guys because like honestly i'm still low but the fact that people are already reaching 40s and like higher is just amusing to me but like yeah, yeah i like that it's a hundred and it's not low i wish tears of themas they increased it recently but i've already maxed out people that i'm focusing on so it's annoying i wish they could like I wish I could increase it again. I don't know why it's so low. I like the fun activities like photo. Yes, this one for sure. I like the fun activities because I want to get, try to get a lot of more plushies. 
uh, like photo photography claim claim machine and kitty cat came for daily virtual date that's a, again a huge thing for me that was literally the first thing that made me really like this game obtain upgrading memories i like to collect more beautiful memories uh-huh definitely this through wishes and unlocking more related content definitely that yeah i do like my selection i do like i'm interested in the storyline but not as much like <laughs> if i could just play this game as like collecting cards interacting with him and literally that's it i'll be happy with the game <laughs> and not really care about storyline because again i i'm just speed reading speed running right now so that i can open all the features to experience experience them so i haven't really been reading like i haven't read why like i know why we went to the snow plane but i haven't fully read it properly Please feel free to share any other suggestions or thoughts you have about Love and this Space here. Thank you for your support. Um, I had so many things to say shit. This is why I always need to pre-plan this thing. I'll just say this because this one is one thing we have to change. Improve. It's weird that I'm doing this in point form. I never do this in point form. Because again, this is really ticks me off. The whole thing that... First of all, you, you can't... The tech speed is just its tech speed. Sometimes it flash steps, sometimes it's okay. Like, honestly, like, literally, I love that Love and Love Brush Chronicles, <sighs> saying its full name, honestly, has, it has a good speed for text. Like, the slow is actually way too slow for somebody who is actually a slow reader. And again, I love that. I love that they have that option. Of course, they have different stages for you to put them. But, like, I just love that that fact is there. I really hate... Like, I don't even know if increasing the text box is going to help while there's a lot of text. It's just annoying. Increase the text box and have it... Or have it also scroll for the text showing up. Because at least, thank God, this game is voiced again. But while it's me talking or it's narrative, it's annoying because I miss it. Or if I'm playing in a low low voice, low sound. Um, What else can I ask to be changed? <gasps> ah, this. Mm, I've just remembered this. This is a very picky thing. <laughs> but I'm going to say this one. Um, This is, again, just something nitpicky. But okay. <laughs> So let me just read this out for you. I don't even know if it makes sense. But on the limited banner, show that I already have the card to help know how many more times I can pull if I want to max rank an SSR. This is a very nitpicky thing. For me personally, why I would like that is because like with my multiple accounts, again, this is just a multiple accounts problem. I never remember who, which which account got which card. So especially for that limited banner, I was trying to pull for it. So like, I was like, oh, my this account which is my physical one is a xavier focused account so i wanted to pull for him i was literally going to pay money to try and reach that pt or guaranteed but like um i kept on confusing with my instagram account because i was just i call it instagram though it's my ios but like yeah honestly like <laughs> it, it i kept on forget like forgetting which card had what and if which card needed to go more because like there's some cards i mean some accounts i'm trying to save gems for the next banner because ralph we just found out ralph is the next guy coming so yeah uh, of course all this comes out god knows who is even going to be out at the time this is real but yeah it's a very weird nitpicky thing i don't think any game has that but it would be nice it would be nice if they even have like how many cards you have in there again they'll probably never do it but it's nice it'll be nice this is i think this is all i'm going to say for now they improve the lock system the option of the text speed in or increase the box like it's literally annoying how that it doesn't auto scroll like uh, it's just annoying but i pretty sure there's probably something else <gasps> ah! this one is even more important than that <laughs> yeah because that white background sometimes it doesn't look nice i would love name cards but i don't think they're gonna give that uh, I think I'll talk about the skin tone there. Like, I don't even care for the hair color. I could care less for the hair color. I just want different hairstyles. I hate that long hair. That long hair irritates me. I want short hair. <laughs> I'm a short hair fanatic. <laughs> I want short hair in my character. Because the thing is, I get, I get when it comes to the outfits. I would like other outfits on my everyday, on my battle. But it makes sense. It literally makes sense. I just hope they eventually give us like event clothes or free clothes or whatever on the that place. Because like I get jealous seeing all the guys getting these outfits and I'm just stuck with my typical hunter outfit. Like it's meh. It's so boring. I don't like it. It doesn't look good. Um, like it's it, it's regular. Let's just say that. Okay, so have more options for darker skin. Of course, I'm gonna say this because mm -hmm, I'm like I might as well. <laughs> but like of the first one was dark mode for the 
profile photo UI. Have more options for darker or to caramel skin tones. Mm, can I put a slider there? I had a lot to say, y'all. It just shows how passionate I am about this game. Uh, have more options for darker to caramel skin tones a slider would be nice also a way to have different hairstyles outside of the photo studio because because honestly the hair <laughs> it doesn't glitch it's just in the way but i'll say glitch <laughs> again it doesn't really glitch i just hate how it looks like <laughs> The way it sways, it's annoying. You know, I personally hate that hairstyle. I have never liked like longish hairstyle that's in that what's the name? <laughs> the system. In that type of system. Like I just want short hair. Give me short hair. You have short hair in the red in the game. Just give it to us in, in the freaking everyday fighting battle system. I literally pay for that shit. I could even pay for it. I'm not even lying to you right now. I can see there's potential of changing hair with the outfits. Just give us one that short has short hair. I will buy it. Okay, give us three still, but I will literally buy it. But, it is <laughs> but yeah, I think that's good. what all I'm going to have. Like, oh my god, I didn't think this video was going to be this long. I just love, love talking about new games, I guess. Xavier, hi, I'm back. I know you've been talking here for years. How are you? <gasps> hi. <laughs> Honestly, all I do, it literally scares me. So yeah, you just get one pool. It's nothing much. And it's in the regular banner anyways. Honestly, I'm so excited to see how Raphael's card actually looks like um because yeah it's just this it's only this wait is there another server wait what huh what wait there are two servers <gasps> that's why it did make sense that one was more in depth okay i am a female oh my god i hate saying this on camera but i'm this old i like that my country is here i'm from africa i'll say i'm a freelancer even though i don't have a job <laughs> <laughs> it's saying otherwise uh how did you first learn about the official release of honestly i think it was through an influencer like the blogger person on facebook uh is there anything like social media none yeah non-official social media posts have you followed or joined any of the love and Dispace official accounts stroke platforms twitter instagram i don't know their facebook really uh youtube and discord i didn't even know they have a reddit i should probably enter that I don't know if I'll remember that. Please share the reason why you would like to experience. Um, I like interacting with the love interest. Only three. So this does still have three. I like freely customizing my character's face and voice. Yes. I like the first person 3D cutscenes. Yes. Why are you making this so hard for me? Okay. Xavier is back talking in my ear. I put the earphones back because I thought I was ending the video. I didn't know there were two surveys. I didn't even realize those are two. I like how the combat... I do not like that. I like the background music. Uh... Honestly speaking, I wanted to mention this. The music is okay. Coming from a game like freaking Light Night. I'm telling you, for me, Light Night needs to go global. We will pay. We will literally throw money at your game. You're missing out on money. I'm telling you, like literally, I've been wanting to spend that game like so many times. So many times. But it's locked. It's freaking locked. The fact is, well, even the way I can play it is just a miracle. I hope they never change that. Because like, I love light and da uh, light and night because like literally hands down that's probably one of my favorite totomi games i am not even going to lie to you i defied to tears of the mask so much like it's funny because i don't even relate to the guys as much as i would like because clearly i stopped reading i stopped reading it because i had to speed run the story again as usual because like there was an event for getting the the energy or the what do you call it the power you need was lowered so i was able to go further into the story because i'm still i'm not in endgame yet so i'm not far but again regardless it's it has the one of the best musics there's so many times i'm playing that game and i'm literally just leaving it in the background and i'm just like listening to the music i would say what's next is probably tears of the mass again it's a company from hoyovas so of course they'll have good music but versus light night hands down light night literally every event there's a music i'm liking so yeah for this game is a bit mid it's just okay i personally don't even like the promo video the promo music it's okay again like uh it's not the best but it's okay it's nice that i guess they're collabing with artists but at the same time it's just meh i like the character models personally yes but honestly that's not a top thing i like completing stories i don't really care about completing stories you should know that by now <laughs> i like the sci uh, sci-fi worldview loki yeah 
but again it's not one of the favorite things beside online advertisement through which elements well which, to which channel do you usually acquire information about games uh friends i guess i don't really have friends technically my brother uh <laughs> app store recommendations oh yeah i remember this i don't go outside i literally am a whole body i've never left the house for years okay i'm joking but yeah <laughs> i used to get them through here well i used to go for a lot of game expos the current one i go for is male oriented for the people in this genre in, in my country but like if i was doing for one abroad most likely i'll find games through that uh i gather information online out of my interests influencers i never get it from official because the only way i'm even sent to official is through somebody who is a blogger or something like from reddit even um what platforms do you visit more frequently twitter discord youtube instagram kind of reddit facebook not really oh yeah those are the ones i do what are your favorite game types um i guess casual games but all my games it's funny that you'll say that when you're actually playing a game i hate multiple player visual novel i used to like this i don't know if i should put it episodes like uh those who probably had subscribed because of episodes it's it was huge on my channel yes this star i play i play star Rail. But minecraft i used to play just not as much anymore open world of course dressing games this is complicated oh favorite i guess i don't like it fine i'll put sandbox too this was interesting i didn't know ag acgn means this i'll say i know the concept and i'm interested in some content which of the following activities have you engaged in or experienced in the past six months this one is complicated because i don't remember my life i forget uh creating <laughs> yeah this i'm literally creating a video right now joining <laughs> joining offline activities game expo like this one i would have said if it was last year it's just that the the expo that we have in my country got cancelled because they have one every the end of the year and they cancelled it i don't even think i would have been able to go because i probably don't have money uh but anyways reading fan fiction no browsing yeah i browse the community stuff following yes um reading novels nope uh what is this purchasing match all the time i literally oh my god yo i don't even know if i should show a picture i literally just got a kazuha queen screen case <laughs> maybe i'll share it on a like a little picture <laughs> it's so cute you know kazuha is my favorite character in genshin so yeah i had to get something for my boy what yeah i think that's it yeah because you see this is how fast i thought it was i didn't think that they had another survey up there how do you feel about the overall game experience so far i'm satisfied about it how do you feel about the tutorial mm, it's complicated which language have you selected english i don't know if i like that it pops up how satisfied are you? very satisfied to be honest how satisfied are you with the local um well they say this i never know how to answer this because like i don't play any other language so i won't know if they have localized it well so far it seems okay so i'll just say satisfied because i know again with anime it's always the worst i never like how they localize anime I just prefer to read it in its raw form. Uh, have you contacted? No, I haven't. But I'm aware of it. As of now, what love interest do you like the most, Xavier? <laughs> Why do... Oh my god, this is different. Why do you like this character? Voice over appearance, not really. Personality... Mm, occupation i like that he works well work storyline combat skill no Raphael is my best when it comes to combat skill and then xavier <laughs> i mean not xavier zane based on the experience so far if you have any other thoughts or suggestions about this game please share them here oh my god i should have just copied and pasted that thing but i guess i'll rewrite some of them here okay i've probably forgotten something i probably didn't even redo something that i already wrote that side but options to slow down text on cutscenes they go too fast sometimes better lock on systems in battle better screen representation limited dark skin tones i don't know if i should mention the lighting because sometimes the lighting is so beautiful and then sometimes the lighting is not the best but again as i said it's probably because i'm the darker skin tone so like it just doesn't look the best sometimes and of course the quality i'm on so i can't really write that i don't know if i even should the other one is improving the mc's voice for the lower lower or husky range because like again as i said i'm already a low speaker or low tone so like it would be nice if they could sort out that distorting at this rate i'll even be fine if it was like pick pick and choose like the way the skin tone is to be honest better auto equip for proto protocol so i think that's all i have to remember to say 
yeah again i doubt they'll read this i doubt anyone will watch this but at least those are the things i would love for them to at least look at in this game and we are done we're back to xavier yet again <laughs> time to let the books at home see the light of day i'm like why are you like this because i don't even know how long those surveys were for kind of wish they came in a place where i knew how long they were because at least thank god this account was able to do that one because i thought i missed that one that's why i thought it changed oh then i i don't like that this like you still get the other rewards but this doesn't even go over it, do, it doesn't make sense because like obviously it's finished but just to prevent you from talking i'm going to come here so like yeah guys yeah i got that card i said it's so cute i like that card i want this card too but anyways um this is probably going to be such a long video i'll probably have to put it in parts because again i didn't think the survey was going to take that long i didn't know that they had released another survey clearly i even didn't realize there were two but yeah my voice is getting all hazy i need to start doing my dailies for all my other games i haven't even done deep space today because i did genshin started looking at theory videos afterwards went to sleep woke up <laughs> went to hoyo <laughs> freaking hoyo lab and just was talking about deep space and then now i decided to record this video it always ends up like that i'm always feeling the need to record that's what i'm saying it's bringing back the spark i used to have about wanting to record so like yeah anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this again this was a long one i don't know if i'll have another part to basically my review because i now see this as a review i guess i hope i did mention everything i needed to have mentioned but i'll probably do another video for this this is probably not the last video that's going to be here anyways guys thanks for watching and i will see you in another video Toodoo.